Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. We're doing your daily reading for Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. Let's have a look and see what we've got coming in for you guys. How are you navigating your week so far, by the way? Uh, let me know in the comments section. There is some weird stuff going on this week. Uh, the astrology itself for this week is absolutely off the charts. It's so weird and wild. Um, it's very interesting, actually. Uh, so, of course, we are in Eclipse Week, right? So we are uh, pretty much in the energy of expecting the unexpected. So we have skeleton energy coming out here for you guys first, and this is bringing you strength. So this is really interesting um, because if memory serves, I believe we had the strength card come out for you guys yesterday. So in this energy this week, you are going to need to rely on your inner strength. There may be situations that come up. The skeleton is what gives us our backbone, right, which stands us up. If we didn't have a skeleton, if we didn't have bones, right, we'd just be a pile of goo on the floor, right? wouldn't be all that great. So in this energy, you are being reminded of just how strong you are. You may need to, you may find yourself in situations where you have to stand up for yourself. Um, you need to really straighten your spine so to speak, right? Um, you know, it's, uh, I have, I, I used to have a boss and, uh, one of my, one of my things with him was, um, he had the spine of a gummy bear. Like he would just fold over like a deck of cards. It's like, what are you doing? Um, so you may need to really rely on that inner strength that is within you. And the reason why we've got the skeleton here is because to really show you that, right? A visualization of that strength that and you can't always see, but you know is there. So I do feel that some of you are really going to have to rely on your own backbone this uh, today or through this week, most likely. Um, but I also do feel there's something going on that is actually um, increasing your strength. And this is your strength of all kinds, physical, emotional, spiritual. Uh, this is a time of growth. Uh, for a lot of people, and part of that growth can be about letting things go, walking away, can be about changing how you deal with situations, how you deal with people. There's something shifting, and the shift itself may be quite uncomfortable, but the aftermath, the effects of that will be quite profound and really positive for you. And anytime we get an opportunity to build upon our strengths, right, this is a really good thing. You may also really need to tap into and rely on what you're already good at today. So there might be a situation that comes up where maybe you have to collaborate with somebody and they might be the creative person and you might be the logical person who's really good with words. Um, you know, so those kind of things. So make sure that whatever you've got going on through today or through the rest of the week that you do play to your strengths um, and, uh, you know, really um, trust your experiences and trust your strengths there. We have the Four of Swords coming out for you guys today. So this is actually a really wonderful energy. The Four of Swords does bring about a sense of healing, of inner peace. Um, but it is also one of rest and relaxation. And it's also a card of meditation. So it's one where we're very at ease. So for some of you here, the main theme for today is for you to take it a little bit easy if you can. Um, try not to overexert yourself. Don't overcommit to anything and because you need to keep your strength up, right? You need to make sure that you are physically, mentally, emotionally, um, spiritually stable and strong to get through the week. And one of the ways you do that is you just take some time for yourself in this four of swords, uh, have a nap, go to bed early, um, you know, maybe just uh, for once, if you're a really busy person, for once, just put on some nice comfy pajamas or something and curl up in front of the couch and watch some TV, right? It is an energy. We're not doing anything in the Four of Swords. We're laying back. All right. So you might need to do that. Um, for some of you, the theme for today is going to be take a calm and gentle approach at something, right? This is maybe not a situation that may come up where you need to, um, you know, really come out fighting, right? This is one of peace, 
right? So finding a peaceful resolution to things um, will be really beneficial for you. But this is also a card of meditation as well. Great day for you guys to engage in that, whatever works for you. So whether you connect with nature, whether you, you know, do sit lotus position on the floor, whatever happens to be for you, maybe you've got guided meditations that you do, whatever it is, it's something to quiet your conscious mind so that you can connect with your energy. Your challenge today, the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is an energy of indecision. You might need to make an important decision throughout the day, okay, or maybe something bigger that is going to impact your whole week or beyond. And the Two of Swords can be a slightly challenging card anyway, right? Because, you know, we're, you know, we're really got, we're really mulling something over. We're really trying to have to figure something out. And so part of the Two of Swords energy, um, always kind of a reminder there is, you know, that in order to figure out the solution to something, we may need to extract ourselves from the situation. And when we look at the imagery of the Two of Swords, we've got a blindfold on, right, and arms crossed. So this might be, you know, that part of your challenge today is opening up. Part of your challenge may be to see things in something other than black or white and yes and no, because there's quite often a middle a middle ground somewhere there. So part of the challenge might be to see that middle ground, that middle area, compromise, right? Um, it also may be where, you know, you do maybe need to open up and either talk to somebody, share some experiences, or even ask for help right? can be very challenging for you there. But the Two of Swords, yes, there might be some indecision in that energy. Um, I actually quite actually quite like the imagery on this. I mean, this is a, a Halloween themed deck, right? But this uh, Two of Swords person is sitting on a throne and that throne is actually a skeleton. So, um, you know, so this can be certainly sit up, take notice, right? Straighten that backbone, be confident, in your energy, because sometimes part of what keeps us stuck and going around in circles is a lack of confidence when we need to make a decision. So trust your ability to make a decision. All right. Um, but you think your intuition is also telling you something here is very uh, can be very tied to your intuition with these two energies. And maybe you're doubting yourself or you're doubting your intuition. And what we really need to do is trust it. It doesn't steer us wrong ever. Um, and, you know, this is where we get the saying of hindsight's 2020, right? And we don't want to say hindsight's 2020, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, this is where we trust it, we trust our instincts right out of the gate. And then we never have to look back and say, yeah, I probably should have done that. I knew I should have done that. And damn it, now I'm kicking myself in the butt. All right. Um, but the two of swords can also show that there's some balance needed as well. It takes great strength and balance to hold those two very, very heavy swords up straight. And so you might need to find really look within four of swords and find where you need to have a little bit more balance in your life. And this can certainly be um, certainly be taking care of your own energetic needs. The blessings headed your way. Very thought provoking day today. Um, blessings headed your way today is the queen of swords. So the queen of swords is benefiting you the most. Now this can first and foremost be your energy. You have a decision to make. You're going around, swirling around, going around in circles. And all of a sudden, the Queen of Swords, here you go. Aha, epiphany moment, right? The Queen of Swords is very quick, very intelligent, very decisive, and um, very, very good at making decisions and trusting her own judgment. So even though there might be something here that throws you for a loop today, go within, go for a walk and make the decision and stick to it and trust yourself that you've um, come to the right conclusion, whatever that is for you. This can also be about uh, having a conversation with somebody, right? The Queen of Swords can be a very helpful person. So if you're really not sure about what to do or how to proceed with something or there's some information that you don't know, the Queen of Swords can be somebody that you have a conversation with, whether you ask them for advice 
um, whether they're offering advice, perhaps, or offering some information, right? Don't be closed off in the Two of Swords energy and accept the offer that they are bringing forward to you because the Queen of Swords would be somebody who is maybe not necessarily super warm and fuzzy, okay, but they're honest, they're truthful, they mean well, and they're very intelligent, right? It's like quick, 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 sharp, um, sharp intelligence, the kind that it's like, how do you know that? Because the Queen of Swords is also very wise and very intuitive. So this can be a very helpful person for you today, but this can also be your power and your energy. Your advice from spirit for your day, we've got the three of swords, all these swords energies, let me tell you. All right. So, I mean, very cerebral today, very communicative energy today, very thought provoking energy today. So you might very well have something on your mind. But the three of swords is really your advice from spirit saying there may be something that doesn't go your way or there might be some issue or problem or dilemma that you're trying to resolve in some way because the three of swords is an energy of sadness, grief, heartbreak. Um, it provokes healing in this energy. So there's a situation here that you need to fix or you need to heal, right? And in this Four of Swords, you have the ability to do that and bring peace to a situation and feel a little bit better, right? But you need to think about something. You might need to have a conversation or make a decision. And maybe you even do need to just take a step back from life a little bit today if you can and make sure that you, if you're busy at work, right, make sure you take your lunch break, but take yourself out of your workplace if you can, right? Just go outside, sit on a bench or something, you know, um, just something where you can have that space for yourself, just something to clear your head there a little bit. Um, you know, again, maybe you need to engage in some meditation, some cord cutting uh, um, energies, perhaps, right? There's cord cutting meditations and you need to e extract or get rid of, detach from some, um, you know, from some negative energies, right? So whatever it means to you, there is a situation, there's a challenge here for you today, but there is a way forward and out of it. And with the Three of Swords energy, part of your advice is that we need to open up and we need to recognize what it is we need to fix or what it is we need to heal, what it is we need to let go of, and then hop to it, right? So the very big healing energy is coming in this week. A lot of ups and downs this week, a lot of challenges this week, a lot of changes this week and events that you may be beyond your control that you have to deal with. All right. So keep your strength up. All right. Remember how strong you are. OK. And, you know, maybe in this energy, cause the two of swords. Right. We can be closed off a little bit. Recognize in the energy of discernment. When is the right time to open up and when is the right time to go within? That'll probably be your saving grace throughout your day and throughout your week. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If there was, please like this video. It truly lets me know that you resonate with the reading. It also lets you to know that, know that you do too. And then it gets shown to more people. And if you do enjoy my readings, hit that notification button and the subscribe. And uh, you will, in theory, be notified when I put up a new reading. That's been a little sketchy for the last six months on the YouTube side. Um, but also check out your Eclipse readings. They are all uh, posted for you and um, there's some very deep uh, insights in there for you guys. Big energies this week, wild and crazy. So centering and grounding your energies can be very important. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.